This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Giving supplemental oxygen. Supplemental oxygen should be given when the patient has signs and symptoms of hypoxia, such as fast breathing, anxiety, excessive sweating, cyanosis, or chest pain. A pulse oximeter should be used to measure oxygen saturation when available. Nasal cannula. If hypoxia does not appear severe, oxygen can be delivered through a nasal cannula to give lower levels of oxygen, 24 to 40%. Monitor closely in case a mask is needed. Remember, regular air is approximately 21% oxygen. Connect the nasal cannula to your oxygen tank. Oxygen is delivered at a low rate, maximum of five liters per minute. Secure the tubing over the ears so that the nasal prongs and the tubing are both on the front side of the patient's body. Position the prongs of the nasal cannula in each nostril, making sure that it does not extend too far back or press on the tissues. Never put the head through the loop in the tubing. The patient can accidentally strangle themselves if they become confused and hypoxic. Simple face mask. Use a simple face mask if hypoxia appears more severe or if signs of hypoxia continue with maximum oxygen flow via nasal cannula. A simple face mask is used with oxygen flow rates of six to 10 liters per minute and can deliver approximately 40 to 60% oxygen. Connect your mask to your oxygen tank. Oxygen is delivered at a medium rate, six to 10 liters per minute. Apply the simple mask to the face. Cover the bridge of the nose. Secure the mask by placing the elastic strap over the head. Some masks are designed to be placed under the chin, and some masks should be placed below the lower lip and above the chin. Non-rebreather mask. Use a non-rebreather mask for patients who appear extremely hypoxic or still have signs of hypoxia with a simple face mask. A non-rebreather face mask can deliver almost 100% oxygen if the reservoir bag is full. Never place a non-rebreather face mask before it is connected to oxygen. A true non-rebreather mask will not allow outside air in and can worsen difficulty in breathing and hypoxia if there is no oxygen flowing through the tubing. Attach the non-rebreather bag to your oxygen tank. Oxygen is delivered at a high rate, between 10 to 15 liters per minute. Prepare the non-rebreather face mask by placing one finger over the valve at the top of the reservoir inside the mask to inflate the bag. Apply the non-rebreather face mask in the same way as the simple face mask, ensuring as little leakage as possible.